Spectaphone. Oh no, God. Spectaphone. <laughs> Brands. This is morning me right now. And today was a good day to take lessons in self acceptance because my body is very angry at me. And sometimes that happens. I talk about it all the time, especially if I do like a somatics like with dance seminar or something, there are days when you are a fresh hot mess. And this is exactly that today. Uh, my body is in revolt and I don't really care because <laughs> honestly, I don't have the energy or the time to paint on my eyebrows this morning, but I hope you'll still love me just the same. <laughs> it is like the middle of March. Is it the middle of March? It's the middle of March. Oh my God. And it's crazy. I am, wow. This high definition stuff is really just kind of crazy. Oh look, that's better now. <laughs> um, it's the middle of March, you guys. And I don't even know how to feel about life. I don't ever stop. So that's why you're getting morning, morning me. Also, I've decided I need to start doing like a sadder praise thing. Like, and I don't mean I'm making a worshipy altar to the little horned, fawn-legged people that you do when you're trying to have a bibbit or something. So I have been trying really hard to keep up with life. And whenever you have stuff going on, like when you're working or you have events or you're an artisan or you manage a business or you have kids, like you just go and 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 go. And it's really hard to take five minutes to yourself sometimes, but it's easier if you start with taking like five minutes to yourself, like listen to one song. And that's what I always tell people, like start with one song, be like, you know what? This five minutes is about me. If you have to like tell your family or something, be like for five minutes, this is about me. A lot of times, you know, we were made to feel guilty about it, but really you kind of just have to recenter yourself. And if you can't be good to yourself, then you can't be good to other people. And one of the things I do is I do yoga pretty much every morning. One of the reasons being is because my body is a meat sack of fail pile. And so I have to keep doing it or else I'll be in trouble. One of my favorite people that's ever existed on the face of the earth who is probably one of the coolest chicks I've ever met. Vivian Wolf has uh, taught me so much about yoga and about life and about nerdy stuff. Um, in fact, I think she's the nerdy yogini on Twitch. She is amazing and she is who <laughs> I chose this morning to be like, Saturday praise, cause it's Saturday. Um, or at least the video will be out on Saturday. <laughs> I mean, this chick like, she used to teach people like school stage combat. She knows how to do yoga. She knows more about Star Wars than you. Legit, she knows more about Star Wars than you. I don't care who you are. She knows more about Star Wars than you. She is bringing mindfulness and wellness to like conventions. I have done like her waterbending Tai Chi class. It's <laughs> uh, her movement seminars. Oh. This chick could kick your ass and then teach you how to uh, be mindful of your ass that got kicked. <laughs> She's really amazing. I love her very much. And I'm doing her 30 day challenge. I haven't been good with keeping it up because I still do yoga every morning, but she had a great like statement or feeling on when you don't have time, like what do you do? What What is like, something small that you can start with yourself, especially if you don't have energy, if you're suffering from, you know, some kind of emotional thing or financial thing or whatever it is. Like, what if you only have enough energy to do one thing? Or what if you feel like you don't have any energy? You, I promise that you, if you try and take a breath, even if it's five minutes of meditation, like you don't go anywhere, you can take five minutes to yourself. And one of the things that was kind of expressed in her uh, March 2020 pose challenge, which is, <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna say this right. Uttanasana, I think. Uttanasana? 
Lieutenant Austin. I think. I don't know. It's real. I, I mean, the fact that I can say Vinyasha. <laughs> Vinyasha. See, I can't even say it. Vinyasa or Ashtanga or something like that is just a miracle. But uh, yeah, so forward bending fold. Even if you only have time for like one pose, one pose in a month, uh, you can do it. You can do that one pose and then you can build from there and it's amazing. And that's how I started. Sometimes I can, you know, have my face like against my legs when I'm doing forward bending pose and I'm like, oh my gosh, look at how much amazing progress I've made. And then immediately that same day, I won't be able to barely touch the ground. And it's just, it's just life. It's just life. I mean, this, all of this life, life happens. Get over it. Anyway, <laughs> so she's doing this monthly pose challenge. I will send you a link uh, to a place where you can find like the little guide for it. It's legitimately just a forward bending fold. Um, I have an example of me attempting to do that this morning. Um, I did run into a few problems. I'm trying to do yoga. I'm trying to do yoga. I'm trying to get fit, Natalia. Mm. Oh, pickles. What? Go on. I'm trying to do yoga. I'm trying to do yoga. Are you doing a flat? Oh. What about, what about forward fold? I'm trying to be in the contest, Natalia. I'm trying to get fit. I'm trying to get fit. Silly girl. Okay. All right. Let's see what I got to put up with. <laughs> it happens. It's life. Life happens. Life happens. Um, but anyway, I'll find a way to like link to this. Um, it's available. I'm on her mailing list, so I get stuff sent straight to me, so I don't have to worry about it. And there is a video, which is exciting. This is an example of Utna Asana. But yeah, so there's like a monthly prize this month. If you post it on the Instagram or the Facebooks and hashtag level up IRL, 30 day post challenge and tag Vivian. I will put, oh God, oh God, why is this happening? Oh God, Ugh. Ugh. my phone is just too strong. It's too strong for its own good. I will post uh, links of some sort in the description to this so that you may find the things. If your face explodes or you, <laughs> your knees explode or your kids explode or your finances explode or, you know, whatever happens, even in times of heinous, insane trauma, you can find a place to take five minutes for yourself. And it's really important. And it's something that I've learned and it has benefited me greatly, especially for people like me who, even in times of the inability to do anything, I always want to find like a solution to problems where I'm like, oh, well, my friend's like, oh, this horrible thing has happened. And I'm like, okay, well, let's, you know, let's talk about how to do stuff for it, you know, unless I'm just listening, but it's like, sometimes there's nothing you can do. Sometimes you're just, and you just need to take five minutes to yourself, sort of recenter or let out whatever your emotions are or scream at the sky, whatever it is. As long as you're like, I am cognizantly taking these five minutes to myself. And this month, I'm taking these five minutes to myself, usually to do Uttana Asana when I can, because I want to win a prize. <laughs> because I'm spoiled and I want free stuff. But anyway, uh, thank you for listening to me rant. I apologize for my heinous face, but also, like, I can't do anything about it. Uh, I'm a genetic defect, and sometimes we become a gigantic dumpster pile. Dumpster fire of a pile of dumpster fires? One of those. Something like that. And yeah, I am forcing myself to do things like this this year uh, for self-acceptance-a-thon 2020. My best friend, Rachel, uh, she posted about don't um, have something like destination. Basically, if you don't love yourself now, you're not going to love yourself when you have more money, when you move when you, you know, get the new job or whatever it is. You have to learn to accept and love and take care of yourself so that whenever you do get the new job, the new money, the new kid, 
Bah, bah, bah. Sorry, it's raining outside and every time it thunders, I just feel the need to cackle hysterically. Oh my gosh, you guys, like I just watched New Castlevania and I have so many feels and I just want to spew about it for like an hour, but I can't because spoilers and please, oh my God, like I can't even deal with life right now. So many things have happened in that. Um, anyway, learn to love yourself. Love yourself. Because if you don't, uh, it doesn't really matter what you do. You're just going to be a grumple stilt skin, unhappy pile pants, uh, wherever you are. I really have to stop spinning around. I'm going to stop talking now. I got to go do the work to make the money for the booth. And also, just, I'm going to just slice all this off and redo it. <laughs> whatever you go and whatever you do, I hope you dance even if it's just in your heart. Oh.